Hello again and welcome back to the Meltwater YouTube channel. My name is Samantha, I'm the Content Marketing Manager here at Meltwater. And today we have a quick video for you all about optimizing your Instagram profile. It might seem like a small thing, but a little tweak here and there can mean the difference between a follow and an mm, I'll skip. Your bio, profile photo, CTAs, website link, and Instagram stories highlights tell a lot about you. In today's world of distracted consumers, you don't want to give them any excuse to move on from your profile without a follow. So let's dive right in with your Instagram profile photo. The profile photo on Instagram is round and 320 by 320 pixels. It should represent your company or brand clearly. Most businesses on Instagram use a circular version of their logo. Whether you use a photo of a person or object or graphic, the basic rules to follow are not too busy, not too close up, good quality, and in focus. Now onto the bio. The character count for an Instagram bio is 150 characters. And in that space, you need to cover who you are, what you do, and any other descriptors you wish to attach to your brand. Often, brands also use this space to highlight current campaigns or their support of a social justice issue. If you have a branded hashtag, the bio is also a great place to put it. Emojis are a great way to breathe life into your bio, but it's important not to overdo it. And for those of us who are more wordy types, it's a great way to increase the character count you have to work with. Instead of listen to our podcast, you could use the ear emoji or um, the microphone emoji. Instead of we specialize in video production, you could use the camera emoji or the slate emoji. As far as links go, remember you only have space for one link in your Instagram bio. And even with the recent change Instagram made to offer links from stories to accounts with less than 10,000 followers, pause for our daily appreciation of this fact, Instagram is still very stingy with link opportunities. So the link in your bio is extremely important. While a website homepage is the most common link to include here, you could also use the space to promote a product release, campaign, contest, or a special announcement. But be sure you remember to swap it out once the campaign is over. Your highlights row is the next area above the fold in an Instagram profile. These give visitors to your Instagram profile a quick glance of the kinds of stories that you post. They can select a highlights reel they find interesting to get a better idea of your content. Instagram stories highlights are typically categorized or themed. You have very little space to title each highlight, so stick to one or two short words. There are no hard and fast rules for the best format for stories highlights icons. However, most brands favor an icon consistency approach. For example, here we can see UK-based small group tour company Rabbies favoring a two-tone color theme with recognizable graphics. By contrast, Bombas uses many different colors and abstract designs. And as an example of what I would not recommend, Royal Opera House has a less cohesive look, utilizing a combination of text covers and pictures of people. They also have two stories with the same exact image and date, which can cause confusion, so try to avoid that if possible. Lastly, for optimizing your Instagram profile, make sure you have a business account set up. Regular accounts don't have the ability to display multiple CTAs or contact buttons in their profile. Adding these options will give your profile a more professional look and provide your followers easier ways to get in touch. The basic CTAs available are call, email, order food, book now, and reserve. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.